Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here today, and today we are going to be welding our JKS disconnect nuts right here because what's happened is this loosened off a little bit while we were off-roading, and now it's actually wobbled a notch inside our sway bar. So there's a couple ways to fix this, but it doesn't matter how tight you get this, it still tries to move, and obviously you've got a very heavy vehicle, so it does it no matter what I do. So we're gonna weld the nut here and the, weld, the nut down there. Now, things to note, if this is your first time welding for some reason, make sure that you uh, go ahead and take the uh, ground off of your battery on here so that way your battery is disconnected so you don't fry anything. I learned this today and no, I didn't fry anything, but if you go to weld and stuff like that, and of course you're using your vehicle as a ground and you're doing the arcing and stuff, you could possibly fry your computer and that's the last thing you want to do to your ECU or your body control module or anything else so make sure just for safety precautions you do take a 10 mil loosen that and take it safely off and move it to the side as you can see our ground is up and now that we've done that we found a nice piece of steel on the bottom of the Jeep we're grounded to that and let's show you some sparks fly So it's hard to show, but all we've done is we've welded the bolt to the, the sway bar right here. So that way this locks in way better for this pin. So now what will happen is that notch that's worked its way into the sway bar, it will no longer uh, wobble in the sway bar. It'll actually be have a sturdy hold on that nut since the nut is part of the sway bar now. Definitely awesome. From this point, reconnect your battery. Go for a nice rip. Also, one note, as you can see, we protected stuff. Actually, we used a welding jacket to protect it, but still, you want to protect anything that you know is going to uh, not like sparks. Yeah, that's basically it. Just make sure you cover everything you don't, that you don't like sparks. Otherwise, you can look like Africa here, and if you use your welding jacket, oh, look, it's even in the shape of a heart. <laughs> it shows that your welder loves you. So. That's why you should always be uh, careful because Adidas is not great for welding in. Very, very good clue for you. And second, but certainly not the last thing, is just make sure you have fun doing it and stay safe. And if you can, give the area a quick bath because if there's leftover grease, you will get fire. Anyways, have a great day. Thanks again for watching.